Good day to the audience around the world. Today is Monday, October 5th, 2020, and it's now 11.30 p.m. in Taiwan. I'm Fiona Zhang Xinfang. Welcome to the weekly report of the World New Religion, Taiwan Weixin Shenjiao at Weixin TV station. In this year's Weixin Shenjiao ritual for the Amitabha Buddha birthday celebration for national protection and disaster eliminations, to tackle with the COVID-19 pandemic, following the rite Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi has prescribed, the ritual serves to pray for the elimination of the plague for 196 countries in the world. The life claiming virus is still rampaging around the world, causing millions of deaths. The second wave of the pandemic is likely to hit, leading to the food crisis, just as Wang Chan Lao Tzu has warned us in this early year. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi deeply concerns with the latest development of the world. With Wang Chan Lao Tzu's holy revelation, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi guides virtuous fellows to offer their bodies, speeches, and souls sincerely to Wang Chan Lao Tzu, the holy saints, and immortals in doing religious cultivation. The magnificent Dharma feasts have been prepared as offerings to the Mara spirits from ten Dharma directions. Relying on the sacred power of Wang Chan Lao Tzu, we are transferring the merits gained from the Dharma service. Step by step, we strive to resolve the catastrophes and harmonize the underworld and the modern world. May the world be blessed with harvest and free from wars. Chanqishan Weixin Shenjiao gains the year Amitabha Buddha birthday celebration ritual for national protection and disaster emanation was held at the Sovereign Buddha Zen Ho of Xianfu Temple headquarters. Scriptures were chanted, fresh flowers, fruits, and food offered to all Buddhas, dignities, heavenly roads, as to spirits of all Chinese family names, as well as spirits, cross the ten Dharma directions and the three realms. Moreover, the gods of a plague across the 196 countries in the world were invited to the lotus seeds to receive fragrance as an offering. It is a plague that Buddhas could best divine power to pacify the gods of plague for an end to the pandemic disasters for men and world. As the pandemic continues to rage across the globe, the number of confirmed cases has reached 30 million, with over 1 million cases of death. In addition to controlling the pandemic, governments across the world are also dealing with an increasingly pressing problem, food security. At the beginning of the country year, Wang Chan Lao Zhu, had already instructed the Grand Master Wen Yuan Chan Shi that a global food crisis would follow the pandemic. According to the State of Food Security and Nutrition in the World 2020, report issued by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, the COVID-19 pandemic emerges in 2019 could likely increase the number of people suffering from the food insecurity from 83 million to 132 million in 2020. Eventually, the issue of famine has occurred as Lao Zhu predicted. In light of Lao Zhu's instruction, Wei Xin Shantiao has been offering five grants to the God of Plague and praying for Buddhas and dignities to bestow blessings, resolve the pandemic, and eliminate hunger as the disease emanation and plague pacifying ritual in Genji year at the Amidaba ritual. 196 prayers comprising five grants are offered daily to the God of Plague. The food was prepared by volunteering Weixin Virtuous Pharaohs. Every day, volunteers arrive at the Thorough Buddha Zen Ho at 3 o'clock in the morning every day to first throw the ashes of five grains previously burned on the day before to the let cool. After that, they proceed to burn the incense and worship to the kitchen guard. Praying for a smooth food preparation process before they start frying the fried grains. 
each grain is to be stirred for the separately to bring out the rich aroma before all ingredients are mixed in a pan and fried all together. Then the cooked grains are brought to the order of the ritual to be placed as offerings. As soon as the daily ritual was complete in the afternoon, volunteers would bring the fried grains back to the kitchen to be ground and burned. The ashes would be brought to the Ed Trigon Havling Hard Marvelous Lotus Pond by volunteers and offered to as a choice break. The choice of five grains offering are conducted steady from 3 o'clock in the morning to 8 o'clock at night, toilsome and smooth, but the volunteers took up the job wholeheartedly with joy. We welcome our virtuous fellows who are willing to volunteer to register at Weixin Shenzhou Taiwan Weixin World Peace Promotion Association to take part in the offering. Weixin Report, Headquarters Xianfo Si Temple. To participate in Genzi Year Weixin Shenzhou Ritual for Amidaba Buddha Birthday Celebration for National Protection and Disaster Eliminations, it is mandatory for all branch temples of Changjishan Weixin Shenzhou to return the temple flags to the headquarters Jianfo's temple before the designated date Grandmaster Huyuan Chan Shi has ordered. Take a look at the footage to find out more information. Following the holy revelation of Wangtan Laozu and Grandmaster Huyuan Chan Shi, Changjishan Weixin Shenzhou, each branch temple, carried its temple flags, treasure votive cauldrons, and night dragon scepters to headquarters Xianfosi Temple before the Chinese Moon Festival, the 15th day of the 8th through the month, to attend Genzi Year Amitabha Buddha birthday celebration and benediction ritual for national protection and disaster elimination. After the completion of the ritual, all spirits will be invited to participate the 15th Chinese United Ancestors Worship Ceremony on January 1, 2021, Weixin Shenzhou will lead the representatives of Chinese descendants around the world and all spirits of Chinese ancestors, which all sentient beings can hold their hands, dance together to pray for the world as one family for achieving world peace everlasting. At the auspicious time of the auspicious day, each branch temple's host piles the invited temple flags, treasure votive cauldrons, and nine dragon scepters, returning to the headquarters for the ritual. French temple host presented statements in front of Laozu Hall and hope that, with the power of Wontan Laozu, French temple spirits of the local neighborhood from the three realms can be summoned, invited them to visit headquarters Xianfosi Temple with temple flags for participating Amitabha Buddha birthday celebration ritual. When virtuous fellows got the yes answer from Laozu after casting the divination blocks, French temple host, accompanied by virtuous fellows, carry temple flags back to Xianfosi Temple. They worship Latin post order after passing through the main gate of Xianfosi Temple, worshiped in Weixin Man Hall, then arrived at Thousand Buddha Zen Hall to worship all heavenly sages, seated Buddhas, and Bodhisattvas. Temple flags, treasure votive cauldrons, and night dragon scepters are set in pairs one by one. <laughs> Weixin Report Headquarters Xianfosi Temple. Take a break. We will come back soon. 自即日起, 微信电视在中华电信, the former Minister of Ministry of Education, Dr. Wu Qinji, had been invited by the Lecturer Training Department of Changjishan Weixin Shenzhou to deliver a keynote speech on September 26th. His humorous and wise talking on many current issues and his unique opinions inspired our virtuous fellows and gained a round of applause bursting out. Lecture Training Department of Tanjishan Weixin Shenzhou invited former Minister of Ministry of Education Dr. Wu Qingji to deliver a keynote speech on September 26th at Thousand Buddha Zen Hall. 
Former Minister Dr. Wu delivered a speech in Reproducing Value of Education and Hope, elucidated the connotation of cultivate great talent for virtuous fellows, and encouraged them to be a teacher and student's models with extensive knowledge and decent conduct. Dr. Wu compared the studies about being a teacher all the same no matter it was published by East or West scholars. He summarized that teacher is to deliver knowledge to students, guide students find solutions to resolve problems, and establish proper values to world life. Meanwhile, former minister Dr. Wu also pressed Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi with four sentences written by Zhang Zai in Song Dynasty. Devote our minds to heaven and earth, dedicate ourselves to human beings, inherit the wisdom of sages, build a peaceful world for future generations. Dr. Wu appreciated that Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi built up Wei Xin Shen Jiao, lead virtuous fellows, vote to eliminate disasters and resolve grievances through the religious practice with great sentiment, which is also an important engineering in adult and continuing education. Song Chao, you got Da Su, Zhang Heng Chi, Zhang Zai, Ta So Go, We Tian Di Li Xin, We Sung Min Li Min, We Wang Sung Ji Jie Xie, We Wan Si Kai Tai Pin. We have not been able to do it, but we have to do it. We have to do it. We have to find a religious core to make the world better. We have to do it. 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 商人、学者、专家，各方面的人都能够安心立命。往圣继绝贤，古圣先贤。今天我们强调古至今用，在杨吉东老师文化南天文化院院长的推动之下，我们集合国内的一流的学者大师，再把过去鬼谷子的文化、他的思想，把古代的智慧来禁用，哦，就为往圣继绝贤，哦，然后为万世开太平。我们两岸在推动这样的慎终追远、这样的和平论坛、这样的很多的作为，就是要为万事开太平。Dr. Wu encouraged students of Wei Xin Shen Jiao Lecture Training Program should help to solve people's practical problems in order to bring the peace to the public. Since during the stages of growing up, education, which consists of family education, school education. And after school learning is one of key components that bring growth and progress into society. He also said that being healthy, practicing filial piety, doing good deeds, education should not be delayed, and reminded we must seize the present moment and be diligent. Dr. Wu delivered fantastic speeches. All virtuous fellows expressed their gratitude to Dr. Wu with warm applause. Weixin Report, Headquarters, Xianfusi Temple. It's time for Wei Xin Shen Jiao feature story. Now we are sharing with you the utilization of Yijin Feng Shui in our daily lives and presenting to you the modernity, pragmatism, and importance of Yijin Feng Shui. Take a look. Everybody, I'm Itaba. Welcome to Wei Xin Shen Jiao feature story. Today, we would like to share with you the meaning of Kun Hexagram, expounded by Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi. Kun hexagram is the second hexagram of Yi Jing. The hexagram image of Kun signifies the earth, teaches us that when everything goes wrong, our heart should be as broad as the earth, can tolerate and bear everything, and believe that we can overcome difficulties in the future. When we build houses, dig ditches, and plant flowers and plants, we have to dig the earth. The earth has never complained a word. When we dump the excreta and waste on the ground, the earth has never resisted or asked us to give something back. The earth has such a heart or manner that can tolerate that people cannot tolerate, or endure that people cannot endure. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi often reminds us that when we come into the world, every person has his destiny. We should never look down on others because of our high position or power. We must have the capacity of the earth to accommodate others, accept others, assist others, and praise others. There was a woman in the Middle Age who wanted to get a divorce. She went to Xianfo Si Temple to ask for the advice from Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi. 
She complained to Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi that her in-laws and aunts abused her. The worst thing was that her husband had no courage to help her, so she wanted to divorce. The woman's face was dark and dull, and her words were full of resentment. Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi told her that the woman symbolized pure yin, that is, the Kun hexagram signified the earth. Therefore, when the daughter-in-law has the manner of the earth, she will have a safe and happy life if she can be open about everything. Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi advised her to exchange the position with her husband and look at this matter with the principle of E. If you scold by your wife caught between your parents and wife, what should you do? When people are opposed to each other, all three strokes are in, which is kun. Kun signifies the earth is the most tolerant and asks nothing in return. If family members can learn from the spirits of earth, the family will be happy. After listening to the advice of Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi, the woman went home to adjust her mind and started again. After some time, she and her husband brought her in-laws and aunts to the Xianfo Si Temple to thank Lao Zhu and Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi for making their family harmonious and happy. Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi teaches us that the best way of doing spiritual practice is that when we open our eyes every day and step on the ground, we start it with gratitude. We thank the earth for its kindness and then do malicious deeds and making contributions to the community to repay the earth's kindness. This is Kun Hexagram. Thanks for watching the feature story today. We wish you all the best. See you next time. Take a break. We will come back soon. Now, Let's take a look at the latest updates of Chanjishan Wei Xinshenjiao branch temples. September 26th marks the 18th anniversary of Kaohsiung branch temple of Chanjishan Wei Xinshenjiao. On that day, the 18th anniversary benediction ritual was launched. Let's watch the footage. Chanjishan Wei Xinshenjiao Kaohsiung branch temple launched the 18th anniversary benediction ritual on 26 and 27 of September, Master Yuan Meng of Weixin Senjiao Chanting College led the chanters to commence the altar. Master Yuan Pu, together with virtuous fellows, sincerely welcomed Holy Gods and Buddha to arrive the ritual, protecting all creatures. The Dharma will rotate routinely. Yijin Feng Shui has been propagated successfully. The altar was set with the Tablet of Prosperity and Longevity for Chinese ancestors with 15,615 surnames. On 26 of September, Master Yuan Pu and fellows reported to the Great Jade Emperor, Wang Chan Lao Zhu, and the annual guardian about the ritual affair. They prayed for every success, country security, and disaster elimination. They began the spirit varying rites, chanting Wei Xin Sen Jiao Heart's Common Scripture the Amitabha Sutra and the Universal Gate Sutra of Guan Yin Bodhisattva. They made an offering of sweet dew on 27 of September. We hope the hungry spirits could be well fed before leaving. Those spirits were beneficial from the Dharma and headed to the Western Pure Land. We bless all fellows to have peaceful family, stable career, and harmonious society. Tablet Master Yuan Pu repeated the instruction from Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi. For those fellows who donated for branch temples were rewarded in the ritual. Holy Gods and Bodhisattva were welcomed to attend the ritual. We pray to them for having peace and wisdom growth. There were 199 fellows in total who had longevity seats and volunteered for a long time. A merit list is hand near the entrance of the Buddha Hall. Abbot, Master Yuan Pu and Master Yuan Long signed with red pen, revealing the contribution from virtuous fellows. They practice with love, aligned with the altruism of Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi, Wei Xin Report, Kaohsiung. September 28th is Teacher's Day. 
French temples of Changjishan Weixin Shenjiao have held Teacher's Day celebration activities, and all the virtuous fellows showed their respects and gratitude to the teacher masters. We are offering you some of the highlights. On September 28th, Teacher's Day, the Chinese nation has had the tradition of respecting teachers and their teachings since ancient times, the so-called one day as a teacher and a lifetime as a father, so it is called master. Chan Jishan Weixin Shenjiao promotes the Chinese cultural orthodoxy and inherits the tradition of respecting the teacher and his teaching. Every student's oath includes oath of respecting the teacher and his teaching. The virtuous fellows also honor the oath, comply with the dharma, and abide by the religion. Therefore, every year before and after the joint graduation ceremony of Yijing University, it can be seen that each graduation holds a banquet to thank the teacher for the guidance. They were also grateful to Wang Chan Lao Zhu and Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi for the compassionate teaching of the wondrous Dharma. The establishment of Yijing University integrated religions with academics, assists religion with academic, and spread Yijing and Feng Shui so that the society is harmonious, the family is safe, and the world is at peace. Teacher's Day is a day to express gratitude to teachers. Weixin TV station will launch a short video of expressing gratitude on Teacher's Day every year, allowing virtuous fellows to express their gratitude to grandmaster, masters, and lecturers through the short video, and wish them a happy Teacher's Day. At the same time, various activities will be held in each branch temple to celebrate Teacher's Day. The Virtuous Fellows of the Shilin Aixin Branch Temple held a tea party. Everyone gathered to thank Master Yuan Lu and sent a gratitude card to the masters to express their heartfelt gratitude. At the same time, each class also supported and sustained the temple with red envelopes. Master Yuan Lu was very happy and thanked the Virtuous Fellows' congratulations and encouraged them to study hard and spread the peace method and all of them can be the teachers. The intermediate class of Xinyin Branch Temple also held a teacher appreciation banquet on the 26th. They were grateful to Master Yuan Chang for his years of hard teaching and care, helping the students to solve the difficulties in daily work and life, and teaching Yi Jing and Feng Shui. The students sincerely congratulate Mr. Yuan Chang and his wife. Happy Teacher's Day! Weixin Report. Thank you for tuning in today. Taiwan has enjoyed a relative stable condition in the midst of COVID-19. Yet, we would like to invite every global citizen to put the prevention measures into practice. Wear face masks, wash your hands, no touching of the eyes, mouth, and noses. Maintain social distancing. Together, we should fight against the pandemic and maintain the proper functions of our societies. May the pandemic end soon. We will be back with more information about Chan Jishan Weixin Shenjiao. Please stay tuned at 11.30 p.m. on every Monday and 11.30 a.m. and 4 p.m. every Tuesday on Weixin TV. May the plague end and the coming of a harmonious world. See you next week. Thank you.